I have the uh, inline four air engine here. I received a request to help uh, explain perhaps some things to troubleshoot when uh, you're done building it and it doesn't quite run right or it doesn't run at all. Um, first thing, make sure it spins freely. If you if you have too much friction in the piston cylinders, it's really it's not going to run. So it should spin freely. Um, the pistons are paired, these two are paired together, and these two. So when this one's all the way in, this one's 50, halfway out. So really, I guess you could look at it this way. This one's in all the way, this one's out all the way. So each one is paired with one that's 90 degrees out of phase with it. So, so these two are paired and these two are paired. So this, likewise, if that one's all the way in, this one's all the way out. kind of watch it slowly here. It's deceiving looking at this uh, air crossover here because you have uh, your air flows really you only need one set. You could have just the bottom set and the top set hooked up and if you're just going to run the engine one way because it can run on a vacuum and pressure at the same time then you'd have to have them both hooked up or if you want to reverse direction by moving where your air flow goes in. should run smoothly, just using a small hand pump here to run it. You can see essentially each piston is a switch that switches the airflow for the... So, so say you have a pressure going in here and then it switches it when it's in open out this way. It opens the airflow out to the piston it's paired to to then thrust it and that way you have the continuous motion. So next I'm going to take the tubes off. One of the things you need to verify is the holes actually line up with the openings. If they don't, then you're not going to switch the air at the right time and the engine isn't going to run. And that can either be an issue with the length of the connecting rod, the positioning of the crankshaft. Also if this, these aren't lined up right, it binds when it turns. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong in the alignment of the pistons. So I'm going to take the tubes off. It's hard to just pull them off because they just get kind of tighter like a kind of like a Chinese puzzle would or a finger trap. But if you, well, I might have to make something for this, but if you kind of lift from the bottom they come right off. So I'll do that, get them off, and we'll go through a couple things to verify alignment. Alright, so I have the Airbus and crossover removed. Just put some tape on there so I don't lose the screws. So I have the engine here. Now, so what I would do is check each piston to make sure the holes line up. Right now, this one's all the way in. It should go all the way to that. It'll go in much deeper than, say, this side where the hole isn't there. When it's all the way out, it goes in. Now when this one's all the way out, this one then is blocked, but the hole lines up good enough anyway for the engine to work. Obviously, it's a wood engine. There's going to be some imperfections in its build. So, as you see, this one's out, this one's in, so the hole's open here, the hole's open there. These two, you know, this one drives this one. So this one's in between phases. Ideally when it's in the middle, it's open to neither one of the holes. So we go here, nope, and no. Because that one should be off in that position. Same with this one. Alright, so then I would check each one, you know, going down the line. Make sure all the way in, we got our hole. All the way in, we got our hole. Let's use the one with the mark here. See if we can show it. Here, all the way out. It's in. Oh, let's see. All the way in. I'll just make sure the holes line up with the holes in the pistons. Because if they don't switch at the right time, they aren't going to drive the other position. So just to show how this one drives this one, 
and they, they, they pair together. We're going to take connection off the rotary engine I have over in the corner here. I just hook up two of them. Right there. And if I'm hooking up there, I have to hook up here. And then, uh, let's see here. Hook up this. It's going to be a little bit of a dead spot because it's only two pistons. You can see it runs just with two hoses hooked up and just using two pistons. And that's how a two cylinder version of the same engine could work. But I, I've made it so there's a little bit of a dead zone between the switching on and off, which makes it leak a little less air. But that also means you have to be in the right spot when you start and stop. Now, once you have all four cylinders hooked up, you'll never have a dead zone. Really? So, if you reverse these two hookups, it changes the direction of the engine. So you can make sure each pairing works. Just go down the line, do the same thing with the next pair. Move that way. Switch it. It should run the other way. Right. And that all has to do with This hose goes to the power drive on that one. So that should be a pretty good start for explaining some things to check when you're trying to make the engine go for the first time. Obviously friction is always your enemy and having this, the holes line up properly for the switching on and off of the airflow. Thanks for watching.